Hey guys, Milner here and welcome back to the App Store submission series. In this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you how to get the certificates um, from Apple to allow you to build onto your device. Uh, if you haven't been following this series I recommend you go check it out here uh, otherwise you won't be able to access some of the things we uh, can access in this tutorial. So to get on with getting these certificates we're going to actually need our device identifier. So in order to build onto your device, you need to get the unique identifier of the device you want to build onto. This will help Apple um, know which devices are development devices and which app, uh, devices aren't. Um, so we can either do that via iTunes, which is what a lot of people do, or we can do it via Xcode. So the reason I'm going to do it via Xcode is one, to teach you kind of the new menu we're going to be looking at, and also because it will also register with Xcode as well that this is a new device. So it, it kind of hits two birds with one stone really. So the first thing we're going to need to do is plug in the device you want to use for development. So you can have multiple devices. If you do have multiple devices, you're going to have to do this process over and over again. Um, but if you only have one device, then just plug that device in and launch Xcode. When Xcode is launched, you're going to need to go up to Window and go down to Organizer here. This will open up a menu similar to this, um, but you're going to have to click on the Devices tab at the top here. Pardon me. And when you've clicked on the Devices tab, you should have something similar to this with the devices down the side, which should be your Mac because obviously that's what Xcode is running on, and the device you've got plugged in. Now, as you can see, I've got a few more down here, but they're not actually plugged in at the moment, so that's why they haven't got the green dot. So you're going to see your device pop up down here. You're probably not going to see the green dot and you might see a red dot or even a yellow dot. Um, if that happens, just click on the device. Um, I'm not going to do that because it will show you a load of information that I don't really want to give out online. So you're going to click on the device and there's going to be a button that says use for development. When that button appears, you're going to click the button and it will go through a load of steps. It will turn your device into a development device. Now don't worry. This won't erase anything on the device, it won't change it at all. You can still use the device as normal, it just generates a few things that will allow Apple to then put apps onto your device. So just do that. Don't worry about anything, it will, it will be absolutely fine. So when that's done, you're going to right click on the device here, and you're going to click Copy Device Identifier. So you're going to click that, you're going to click copy, and that's it done, that's this process done. So you plug in your device, you register it with Xcode, you copy the identifier. The next thing we need to do is go across to the development portal and put it in. So we're going to go over to our web browser here. We're going to go to this web address here that I'll put in the description so people can go to it. This is the iOS dev center. Now in here you can do all sorts of things like get you know how to's and code samples and whatnot. Download the new Xcode, download new betas. You can see here there's the iOS 6 SDK beta. You can download all sorts of stuff. Uh, I'm not going to go through that now, but um, it's uh, it's cool to play around with. But what we're going to need to do is go into the iOS provisioning portal. So I'm going to go into that, and when we are here you'll notice uh, a lot of this here. I recommend you do read this in your own time, but for now we're just going to go through it with the tutorial. So we're going to need to go down to the Devices tab here on the side to register our device. So you'll notice that you can only register up to 100 devices per license. That should be plenty for you know a sole developer. Um, if you set up as a company developer, I think you can do more or maybe not, I'm not sure. But 100 devices should be fine. What you're going to do to add your device is go to add devices up here, click that. You're then going to enter the name of the device. So this won't change the name of your device you know, in iTunes or something. This is just for, for your reference whilst you're in the portal here. So I'm going to call, call it my iPod. And then you're going to go in here and you're going to paste your identifier. You'll notice uh, this is kind of fuzzed out. That's because I don't know what people could do if they had my identifier, so I don't want to release it. So paste in your identifier and click submit. Now I'm not going to click submit because it will take up my device kind of you know count and I already have my iPod in there. So I'm going to hit cancel. But when you're done, your device should appear down here in this big list. Now if you've only got one device, then um, you know it'll only be one device. But um, 
yeah so as you can see I've got quite a few devices now what you're going to do is if you've got more than one device you're going to do that process over and over again so until you've added all your devices um, and once you've done that you can then carry on and get your certificate so if you go up here you can see there's certificates now we're going to need two certificates uh, one's a development certificate which will allow you to put apps onto your device and the other one's a distribution certificate this certificate will allow you to put apps onto the app store so we're going to need both now you can either request a certificate here as you can see or we can do it via Xcode which does it all for you which is a lot more easier and simple to do so we're not going to click request certificate here we're going to go back over to Xcode and what we're going to do is we're going to go here into the provisioning profiles tab now when we're here as you can see I've got a few things here but this should be completely empty for you this should look like this that's what, that's what it should look like for you um, so what we're going to do is we're going to click refresh down here and when we click refresh you'll notice that you have to sign in with your Apple ID so that's going to you're going to sign in with the Apple ID that you made as the developer ID so either the one you used last time basically in the tutorial so I'm going to sign in and then it will get on with grabbing the certificate so what this is looking for is the certificates we've got in uh, the portal and it will notice we don't actually have any certificates so I'll ask you to sign in again um, and it will, it will realize that we don't actually see downloading development certificates oh I can't find one do you want to submit a request so you're gonna say oh well yeah so this is basically what we would have had to do earlier but Xcode is doing it for us so we're gonna submit request I'm going to wait for it to do things. It might ask you to sign into Keychain. Um, Keychain is an app on your computer that will hold all your passwords and all your certificates for apps. So you know when you've got Skype or something and it saves your password? It saves it in um, Keychain. So if it asks you, can I access Keychain, just let it access Keychain. Um, so that should fix a few things. The next thing it will look for the distribution certificate. Again, you want to submit the request. Um, when it's all done, uh, we're going to have to wait a little bit. Okay, sorry for the cut there. It's taking a little while. But as you can see, uh, when this is when it's all finished, it will ask you if you want to export the developer profile. Now, this is a good thing to do um, just to keep on your computer somewhere. Uh, it will basically keep the two certificates in a little encrypted file uh, on your computer that will. Um, Basically, if you move Macs or you change Macs or something, or you know your Mac gets lost or whatever, you've got this file that will then allow you to keep the certificates. So basically, you don't have to go through all the process we just did again. You just need to use this file, add it into Xcode. It will do it all for you. So this is very useful just to export and keep on your computer. So I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to cut back, and we're going to be back in the browser. So I'll see you in a minute. Okay, guys, I'm back. And as you can see, I'm back in the provisioning portal here. And you can see that now in the certificates tab, I have my two certificates that I just generated, as you saw in Xcode. It's automatically added them to the portal. Um, you can see that we have both certificates, so development and distribution. Um, and if yours don't appear, just give your browser a, a quick re refresh and it should, um, it should you know, put them in there for you. So that's step one of two of getting our apps onto our own device. So the next thing we need to do is create an app ID and then create a provisioning profile. So that's going to be in the next tutorial, which can be found here. So that's the next tutorial in the series. Um, and it will teach you how to get provisioning profiles. And then the next tutorial after that will be putting it onto your device. So thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Hope it all works for you. Any problems, just post in the comments below. I'll try and answer them. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter if you want to keep up with all the latest details. And uh, see you in the next tutorial.